Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on when people are looking at the blog. I'm Nani Beccali Falco and I am the President and CEO of GE in Europe and at the same time the CEO of GE in Germany. When you read the newspapers today and you look about Europe, you see only bad news. You know, we are dominated by the Greek situation, the banking situation and so on. On the other side, I think that there are a lot of very good and positive things that we have to highlight about Europe and there is a lot of growth. You read the GDP numbers, the GDP numbers are low, also in the average with one and a half, two percent of growth, but we tend to forget the fact that in within Europe there are areas that are growing very fast. There are areas like, for instance, Scandinavia, that during the second quarter of this year is growing by seven percent. We have area like Germany that is growing 3% and they keep on revising the number month after month on the, on the upper side. There is the country like Poland that is growing at 4, 4.5%, maybe 5%. And I would say that there is all the portion of Central and Eastern Europe which is, like, which is growing at the rate of an emerging country. And if we look at the part of Europe like Central and Eastern Europe, which is like the emerging part of the old world, uh, we see that there are incredible potential for growth. There is a need for infrastructure, which is very strong. There is either a old infrastructure that was built in other times, or there is a definite need for infrastructure. Look at a country like Poland, for instance, which needs some basic infrastructure like roads and bridges and that kind of stuff. But energy is the name of the game. Energy is the name of the game, which is a common denominator for most, if not all, the countries that are in Central and Eastern Europe. When you look at software, it's growing, is one of the fastest growing software industry that there are, is the European. When you look at pure manufacturing, and you take countries like Germany, Poland, Italy, it is growing very fast. So we have to really be able to segment the European market, and when we segment it in the right way, we find that there are very big opportunities not only for General Electric, but for everybody in the, in the industrial world. And on the other side, we shouldn't forget about the healthcare business, the healthcare activities, which is going through a process of privatization, which is very important because private money is coming into the picture, there is going to be investment, and so it's going to represent growth for, for the companies that are supplying products to the healthcare industry. GE has a very large employment in Central and Eastern Europe, uh, when we look at the area that goes from Lithuania down to Greece, we have about 25,000 people, we have several manufacturing facilities, we have a couple of centers of excellence, we have design engineering capabilities and so on. Where we need to invest right now is in the commercial capabilities, because there is a scarcity of commercial capabilities. And in within the new kind of organization that the General Electric Company has established uh, since uh, January 1st, we are going to strengthen the Central and Eastern European organization itself and we are going to expand our commercial capabilities. There are two important roles. One of them is to provide employment. The region needs employment. The other role is the one of bringing technology and upgrading all the areas where we are involved in, which is again energy, healthcare, radiation and so on. The transportation, also very important. And, uh, and contribute to the growth of this area through improvement of productivity and, uh, and again, in this way, helping the growth of the, of the area.